Hey, you guys, it's Jerry Morgan with Code Blue Computing. It's time to talk nerdy to me. So what are we talking about today? You know, we are talking about cybersecurity insurance and the fact that recently I've had a lot of conversations with businesses that seem to be operating under the assumption that cybersecurity insurance is a get out of jail free card for your business and that it is not. So when you get cybersecurity insurance for your business, if there's a data breach, you want that, that insurance to help you. And it absolutely can. However, if you are not taking reasonable and appropriate measures to secure that network, you may lose out uh, when, you, when you need that insurance the most. So what does reasonable and appropriate measures mean? What the heck? What the heck does that mean? Well, let me tell you, these, these are some of the minimum things that you should be doing um, if you're looking at getting a cybersecurity insurance policy for your business. First of all, you need to have a head of security uh, for your business as it relates to um, IT and security. And that person needs to have a direct line of communication to your, uh, to your executive team. Uh, you need to have a formal plan in place to test and audit your, uh, your computer network. You need to have policies and systems in place to make sure that all of your uh, security patches are being applied across every device um, across the network. You need to have a disaster recovery plan in place, okay? You need to have employee training in place for what I like to call internet and email hygiene. We want to make sure that these employees are making good decisions when it comes to their internet and email usage and specifically what they, they, what they are um, and are not clicking on, right? Um, you need to have written security policies in place that uh, specify password management and general security policies. And here's a big one that I see a lot of businesses have nothing in relation to this, you need to have a mobile device policy um, in play for your business, uh, for, all, for all, the, all the devices. So what do we need to know about this? Here's the thing that we need to know. If you have ever applied for cybersecurity insurance, that application, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty intensive. And a lot of businesses are going through and just checking the boxes that they need to check to get that insurance. Well, what do you need to remember about that? Well, first and foremost, if you if you run into an issue, if you're breached, and uh, we find out that you have put n none of these uh, these things into place, that you have not been taking reasonable and appropriate uh, measures uh, to protect your business, they may very well deem your uh, your um, your uh, policies there negligent. Absolutely, but they could deem it fraudulent. So as a business owner, what are you going to do? First and foremost, if you have a cybersecurity insurance, um, a, cyber, a cyber insurance policy, and you haven't gone through and looked at these, it's time to look at that. If you do not have a cybersecurity insurance policy, every business should have one in this day and age. Give us a call. Let us go through and look at your look at your network, help you get into compliance so that you can get that insurance policy to protect your business and that you are taking reasonable and appropriate measures so that, that that insurance policy is valid. So again, my name is Jerry Morgan. I own Code Blue Computing in Denver, and we provide IT support services and cybersecurity services to, to businesses throughout the region. So if you have any questions, post them down below. If you thought this information was helpful, share it out uh, so that other businesses can see it, or shoot me a private a private message with any with any questions that you have because we're here to help. So, again, it was great talking nerdy to you, and I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend, okay?